a volume. This is for the Raipa um, from India, belong to the Dice of Vello. Today I'm going to talk about Laudato Si, Pope Francis's encyclical on ecology and environment. And I'm going to read paragraph number 77 from Laudato Si. So it is in the second chapter, which is titled The Gospel of Creation, in which Pope Francis talks about the wisdom and sovereignty and the compassion and mercy of God. Uh, out of mercy everything flows. One God, three persons, <clears throat> they exist um, in compassionate love. All the three persons, even though they are unique, they come together on compassion level and they become one. So compassion has the power to unite everything in the cosmos. We can bond through compassion. It is like some hormones, like oxytocin in medical field. It is called a hormone, which is the hormone of bonding, creating relationships. And mother bonds with the child. That is the result of oxytocin, a hormone. So, compassion is a cosmos hormone which unites in relationships. Every creature is united. So that is what Pope is writing in the paragraph number um, 77. So he says that creation is not um, an outcome of a chance or a natural selection or chaos, not Big Bang. It's not a something somebody or it came out of nothing uh, sorry it came just to happen without anybody controlling it so actually bible says that creation is willed by the father that is the mover that is the cause primary cause and out of nothing the agent creates everything god creates everything so actually, Pope says, out of tenderness, out of mercy, out of compassion, God created this universe. The stars, the sun, they are moved by compassion and mercy of God. The whole atoms, they work. Proton, electron, neutron, everything works according to the compassionate ground of God the Father. The matter, the solid, the liquids, gas and plasma, this all change, they intermingle, they combine, become atoms and molecules. Everything is moved by compassion and mercy of God. Even the um, forces or energy like electromagnetic force, um, gravity, uh, strong uh, nuclear force, weak nuclear force, all those forces are orchestrated by the mercy of God. The compassion moves the universe, the cosmos. The past, the present, the future, everything depends on compassion, the merciful God. So that is what Pope writes in this paragraph. And it's brilliantly put, and we are moved by compassion, and we have it. Everybody have, everybody has it. So that is a inner resource of human beings, and we should show mercy. So the year of mercy we celebrate this year, 2016, and um, the starting point was mercy because God was mercifully created the universe. Actually, Psalm number 136, you read almost 27 to 30 times, you repeat the same refrain. What is it? It's mercy endures forever. God created sun and the moon. His mercy endures forever. 
God created stars, this mercy endures forever. God created mountains and seas, his mercy endures forever. God created land, animals, his mercy endures forever. God created human beings, his mercy endures forever. God liberated people from Egypt and Babylon, his mercy endures forever. See, everything comes out of mercy through God. Whatever you see in the natural, I am the expression of the mercy of God. Maybe this talk, what I'm talking right now, and you are watching outcome of the compassion and mercy of God. So today I'm alive, today you are alive, today the whole world is alive, outcome of the mercy and compassion of God. So basically, that is what Pope says in the prayer of number 77 in Laudato Si. Under the second chapter heading title, The Gospel of Creation, Pope Francis writes as follows in prayer of number 77. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made, Psalm 33 verse 6. This tells us that the world came about as the result of a decision, not from chaos or chance. And this exalts it all the more. The creating word expresses a free choice. The universe did not emerge as the result of arbitrary omnipotence, a show of force or a desire for self-assertion. Creation is of the order of love. God's love is the fundamental moving force in all created things. For you love all things that exist and detest none of the things that you have made. For you would not have made anything if you had hated it. Book of Wisdom, chapter 11, verse 24. Every creature is thus the object of the Father's tenderness, who gives it its place in the world. Even the fleeting life of the least of beings is the object of his love. And in its few seconds of existence, God enfolds it with his affection. Saint Basil the Great described the Creator as goodness without measure, while Dante Alighieri spoke of the love which moves the sun and the stars. Consequently, we can ascend from created things to the greatness of God and to His loving mercy. Everything is mercy. Everything, whatever we see, whatever we uh, hear, whatever we talk, whatever we smell, all the sensational world, whatever it offers, it comes out of the mercy and compassion of God. The whole cosmos celebrates the mercy and compassion of God. So this year, 2016, Jubilee year of mercy. It's very fitting indeed and uh, Pope Francis has given us a greatest gift and I think we have found our compass probably for the past, past 2000 years we lost our direction I'm afraid and um, our compass I think we are collision course with everything. I think right now compass is pointing towards our path towards heaven, to justice, to fulfillment and perfection, towards God. So I think this is a root of mercy or a balm of mercy, balm or medicine of mercy. So I think mercy can make miracles and it can enhance and perfect 
the whole of creation. Have a nice day.